My name is Scott Kelly. I'm uh, the Chief Human Resources Officer at Hitachi Data Systems. I've been with the company for nine years and my responsibility is Global HR for HDS. When you're looking at improving or driving culture in any organisation, it requires focus. Uh, it requires the culture not to be taken for granted. And that's one of the things that we do a great job of at Hitachi Data Systems. We really spend time, we spend resources and energy on understanding how we want to shape our culture and really driving leaders towards enabling that culture. Now, part of that requires that they behave and act in a certain way. Uh, and our CEO is a very strong exponent uh, and role model of the culture. And that has a very positive effect across the organization. Having the C-suite adopt the cultural norms is extremely important in, in driving the right behavior. Our uh, C-suite were always keen, they just didn't know how to go about the role modelling. So part of HR's job was really to illustrate what was required from them and to support them in being successful. Well the challenges in terms of culture across the world include the fact that some of what we see uh, here in the United States and, and what we feel are important are less important in different parts of the world and vice versa. Uh, money takes a, a place of real importance in some countries and, and other countries it does not whereas engagement and recognition uh, is very important here in the United States and, uh, and elsewhere. So it's really about understanding what the cultural differences are, understanding what's more important and what's prioritised, uh, and making sure that that's role modelled by the leaders everywhere. For 2015, our priorities at HDS are, are numerous, but a couple of the key ones uh, include uh, a programme to transform our sales force, and HR is taking a leading role in that. And the reason for that transformation is to address the further transformation that's occurring in the industry we're part of. So the technology industry is transforming at the highest rate and the greatest rate in some 25 years. So we are required to transform our sales force and provide the skills for them to be successful in this new environment. Another key initiative that we're driving for HR from a transformative perspective is to ensure that our employment brand is valued not only internally across our entire organisation, but also improved in what is one of the most competitive markets for talent in the world. Adapting to change in real time or, or continuous change is, is something that all organisations, I believe, <clears throat> will need to improve on. It's not necessarily part of the, the core skills that leaders have. We've much more tended to approach change as a, as a programme-based activity. And whilst elements of that are important to be successful, it's also important to continue to look for what's going to be different in the future and continuous change will become the norm, I think, for all organisations. If I were to ask my peer CHROs a question, it would really be how do you continue to drive value from your HR function <coughs> in such a dramatically transforming industry? So the technology industry of which we're part requires that continuous or iterative change and driving value while sticking to a standard agenda is a very tough thing to do. So it's really about how you re remain agile, nimble, and continue to drive value without seen as sporadic as far as your business customers are concerned. Well, the skills that I'm looking for in HR professionals to drive transformation in include some very different skills, I, I think, that were required in the past. Number one, I look for challenge. I look for individuals who can be appropriately disruptive in the organisation and challenge everything that we do. I look for the people that I hire to be bold, to have a point of view uh, and to be confident about that point of view. I also look for them to be innovative. I look for innovative, in, innovative individuals who've done innovative things. And I think uh, finally, you know, I look for them to be data driven. Someone who is analytical, perhaps has come from a non-HR background, uh, are all the types of skills I'm looking for and that's really helped drive transformation at HDS. The finding of the skills is, is somewhat a different story. Uh, I think you have to be very creative in terms of where you look and I think it's really about not looking in the traditional places because I think the traditional wells have run dry in many respects. So as I've mentioned before, I think it's very much about looking outside of HR, looking for line individuals to come into the HR function, and just looking for individuals who demonstrate the right attitude and behaviours without necessarily having an HR background. 
So I think it's about casting the net a lot wider than perhaps we used to in the 